Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about bowel sounds. As a nurse, auscultating for bowel sounds with the stethoscope is a common part of health assessment. Let's move on to the topic. What do you mean by bowel sounds? Abdominal sounds or bowel sounds are made by the movement of the intestine as they push food through. The intestines are hollow. So, bowel sounds echo through the abdomen, much like the sounds heard from water pipes. How can you hear the bowel sounds? The only method is auscultation. That is, by using the stethoscope, you can hear the bowel sounds. Auscultation of the abdomen follows inspection. So, the abdomen is already exposed. When conducting auscultation, begin in the right lower quadrant and progress clockwise to the right upper quadrant then to left upper quadrant and left lower quadrant assess the presence frequency and quality of bowel sounds in this picture you can clearly see the four quadrants of abdomen right upper quadrant left upper quadrant right lower quadrant and left lower quadrant. Whenever you are auscultating the abdomen, start from the right lower quadrant, then to right upper quadrant, then left upper quadrant, and finally left lower quadrant. Three things you have to look for while auscultating the abdomen. First one is presence of bowel sounds. Second one is frequency of bowel sounds. And the last one is quality of bubble sounds. Let's discuss about each in detail. So in presence of bubble sounds, normally bubble sounds are present in all the four quadrants. This means that peristalsis is occurring and contents are moving through the intestine. The second one is the frequency of bubble sounds. That means the rate of occurrence or how often do you hear the bubble sounds? Based on this, it's been classified into normoactive, hypoactive and hyperactive. Normoactive means you can hear 5 to 30 bubble sounds per minute. That is about 2 sounds every 5 seconds. Hypoactive means less than 5 bubble sounds per minute. Hyperactive means more than 30 bubble sounds per minute. The third one is quality of bowel sounds. It describes how they sound. So it can be described as high pitched with a series of mixture of sounds. For instance, gurgling, rumbling, bubbling or even clicking. Or you can describe it as irregular if no specific or constant rhythm. The quality is typically less important than the presence and frequency, but an extremely high-pitched bowel sound can be a cue suggestive of an early bowel obstruction. So let's move on to the procedure. First, you have to explain the procedure to the patient. Next, provide privacy because the abdomen needs to be exposed. Cleanse the stethoscope. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope on the abdomen. Identify the presence, frequency and quality of the bowel sounds. Note the findings and document. Here we can see how to document. If the findings are normal, you can document as normal active bowel sounds heard in all four quadrants. If it is abnormal, it can be documented as hypoactive or hyperactive or absence of bubble sounds in all four quadrants. It all depends upon the patient condition. Sometimes you can hear the bubble sounds in one quadrant and it may be absent in the other quadrant. So you have to document accordingly. Any abnormal bubble sounds should be investigated and notify to the physician immediately. In the following slides, 
we can just hear the sounds. This is how the normal active vowel sounds be like. Let's hear the hypoactive vowel sounds. That is, you can hear less than 5 vowel sounds per minute. The hyperactive vowel sounds are like you can hear more than 30 bubble sounds per minute. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this would be helpful for you guys. If you feel the same, kindly like, share this to our friends and subscribe my channel. My channel name is Jabin Shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notification whenever I am uploading new videos. Thank you all once again. See you all again with one more interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Chibin. Bye-bye. Take care.